All right, so we got everything laid out. We got the main post put in the ground. It is time to do the fun part. We get to build the framing on this thing. So the first thing we gotta do is head off to the lumber store, pick up a whole bunch of lumber for this pole barn build. So let's get out there and get her done. All right, so we got the trailer hooked up. We're going to get some lumber. Well, there it is. Feels pretty good having a fresh pile of lumber. Now we got to turn it into a coop. All right, the first run is finished up here and everything should go pretty smooth from here on out. So I've got everything perfectly level across here. Now I'm just gonna work down every two foot and then up to this uh, roof there and then we'll put the roof on afterwards. So you might be wondering, how's it gonna get into this thing? Well, I've already dug the post holes there and there on the front and back of the chicken coop for the posts that are gonna make the door frames. So first I wanna run all these boards around all the way up and all the way down and then put the roof on. Once that's on, everything will be more stable and I can just cut all the two by sixes away on both sides where the doors are gonna go. So we got the walls up, it's coming along fairly quickly. Now it's time to hit the roof.
right guys, so here it is. I've got most of the framing done. It's taken me a little bit of time to get to this point because I've only spent little blocks of time here and there over the last month working on this thing due to holidays and weather and that kind of stuff. But I thought, I know there's some of you that are really interested in this project, so I thought I'd just post this. We'll get this up now. Now that we're in the new year, I'm gonna just hit it hard and try to get the rest of it knocked out and at least get to a point where we can start framing out the inside and get everything set up. All right, so let's go take a look at it. I'll show you the few little things I gotta get finished up and then where we're gonna go from here. All right, so there it is. We've got our 12 by 12 pole barn. Then I've got the roof with the overhangs of, I've got 18 inches on this side and then 16 inches on the front and the back. The first thing you'll notice is, I don't have any doors to get into this thing, but I told you in the last video, I'm gonna put doors in. I just wanted to get all framed up. So I've got some pressure treated four by sixes that are gonna go in this hole down here and that one over there, and then we'll frame out the doors. I'll show that in the next video. The other thing that we're gonna do is, I'm gonna kinda take a break from this after I get this the doors in. Actually, I might just move to this next. My wife has decided she really wants me to use those two posts right there to bring down an extension to this pole barn about six foot out, and we're gonna have to do a little bit lighter of a slope here on the roof so it's probably going to be a 212 pitch but we're only talking about a little pole barn here and we're going to have rabbits under here and then maybe smaller chickens we'll see what happens but it's turning out pretty nice so far so i still need to come in put a little blocking here and then all the way around on each side the blocking there and i want to do some tie-ins for the roof there make sure everything's solid in case there's any wind that comes through of course we're gonna have wind coming through but i just want to make sure everything's solid and tightened up and then i think i will probably jump to that little lean to next because i definitely want to get the roof on this thing right away and like i said that'll be another video but uh, we want to get this guy finished up with a roof on it so that all that lumber is going to be protected through the rest of winter because we have been getting some seriously heavy rains around here lately. In fact, if any of you are in the Seattle area, we actually had a record. We got four inches in one day about a week ago, and man, it just poured on us. But I got to get this thing buttoned up and protected here. So I'm going to be hitting it hard, get that lean-to done, get these doors in. We'll get a roof on and I'll show you that video when it happens. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this one. I'm having a lot of fun building this thing and I know that this isn't plant related, but I like putting up videos about our farm and everything else we're doing around here occasionally. So I think what I'm gonna do when I get all of this done, because I know there's gonna be some of you that are interested in seeing it all in one video, I'm gonna put this all together from the very start to the very finish on how this all goes, this entire build. So for now, you get an update. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. If you want to follow along and see how all this build turns out, have a fantastic week. I hope you have a fantastic new year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Mm -hmm.